Will Bo and Luke Duke decide to enter Uncle Jesse's moonshine into the Hazard County Food Fair, or will Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane ruin their day on Dukes of Hazard at 7.30pm? Find out after the Thames men. I got my sign and my scissors. Now all I need is my first customer. I see you've gone into the barber business. Do you give good haircuts here? Nope. No? Nope. I charge for them. <laughs> well, I'll take one anyway. Can you cut my hair so as I look just like my cousin? Well, uh, how does your cousin look? With his eyes, man. With his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. Hello. <laughs> Don't leave me there with the nurse. <laughs> I, sh- I should just vanish or something like that. Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello. My name's Alex. I'm in San Francisco. <laughs> Hi, I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles. You are. And uh, you've reached the high entertainment, low budget, bit of a mistake of a reaction channel. No, 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 sir. I, I dispute that. I call you out at dawn at your inverted. Sorry, sir. a total mistake. <laughs> 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 Get it right. God damn it, do you, man. Do you think we'll ever... Do you think duelling... Do you think... Duelling was... They, they banned duelling in <laughs> Russia at one point because so many people were dying. It just seemed a really stupid way of sort of solving an argument, really, didn't they? Well, you know, like... You would... you would Apparently, in the, uh, the uh, to be a young cavalry officer, so many people were dying because you could... If the smallest, smallest slight, they would duel. Um, you know, because, you know, you really wanted to win a duel. And so they had a banner in the end. The army. <laughs> right, but, but it just, like... Uh... You know all those films you ever used to watch. Now I'm, I, I, it felt like you know, like you said it happened the whole time, but I imagine it maybe didn't happen as actual duels. People came to some resolution. No, but the fact that, that no, no, really, it was, no, they it was, wanted it was like, a duel. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's like a load of peacocks like fluffing up their feathers and going, "I'm going to right. shoot you in all this right. stupid business." Okay, well then, if if I stole your stuff, would you duel me? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Well, I'll rip you <laughs> off. <laughs> if I shagged, if I uh, shagged your betrothed, would you duel me? Uh huh. No. Jeez. <laughs> Look, what? I mean, I'm a pacifist. But, but, Why, but what woman might is going what What's gonna, the point of dying? Dying for love in a duel is a great oh, honour. Yes, I know. That's, like you, that's very romantic. If I survived, is... I would get so much action because <laughs> I, it... I was prepared to die for love. Um, what, what woman would stay with you? I mean, basically, you're broke. <laughs> People are shagging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, th- there is that. But I just think it doesn't seem like a great way to solve an argument. I mean, can you do it like playing like chess? Or I dominoes. think it's a very or quick something. way of solving an argument. No, because you've got to get up at dawn, and you've got to go and sneak down to the park, and then you've got to get pistols, and you've got to pace it out, and it's just like a whole morning shot at that point. Let us be about it. Very well, then. Let us be in the business of going about the business. Very well, then. In hand. Aye, the business in hand. So be it. Sir David... I understand the choice is yours. Sword or pistol? Sword, as you wish. It is the only weapon for a gentleman. Just so. That means, Mr. Van Hoyle, that you have the pistol. (laughs) I thank you, sir. Now, gentlemen. You could be having a nice breakfast with your betrothed and your cup of tea. Your betrothed is off shagging someone else. uh, You'll (laughs) just see her little kissing heels coming out the hedge. (laughs) That'll be it. Hurry up, darling. (laughs) <laughs> I'm refusing. Just, anyway, 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 we are not here to talk about to talk dueling. dueling or that you are not prepared to die for love. <laughs> but I think in the... Oh God, I'm not going to go into this. But we are in, here. In the, right co- we, in the right context. You know, like, okay, like, let's say there was a... I um, duel for... Know. I would duel in the back then for, for um, chips and pie. 
<laughs> you really oh, would, yeah, yeah. you'd risk your life for chips and pie at the right time if i a couple of drinks in and someone uh, insulted my chips and pie i'd fight for chips and pie you you'd would fight for, you'd fight not for your life though back then you would uh, and if you survived I mean, I think, you'd get some i mean could you just have the weapon that was appropriate to the act so you had to like throw pies at each other and the one who got least pie won or something like that i'd kill you with mushy peas <laughs> your steak and kidney would we're be not a... <laughs> here to talk about food dueling what the what the hell are we here for i've forgotten <laughs> but i'm kind that of intrigued actually, by this topic <laughs> food dueling could be it you would never want to take on an indian <laughs> because <it> would... <laughs> the, the curry in your yeah, eye curry in that your really eye and finish you off with Vin- a norm <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Just like that. French. French would just French would just like <laughs> hit you around. Hit you with a duck. <laughs> or slap you with a army. That's Italian. What no, the, well, the Germans? No, the Italians. The Germans. The Italians would throw pasta and then you slap her around the face with pizza. But the Germans. <laughs> the Germans. <laughs> they would go with a whole boar. <laughs> Look, this is this is definitely a path we do not want to follow. No. It's going to lead us into what would the Americans t- duel with? What food? Hot dogs, <laughs> you know, or, or pancakes. They just slap you with a wet pancake. Oh God! All right, <laughs> I'll be trying to get this. We are here for Proko Haram, <laughs> not is that for, what we're here for? not national food dueling. <laughs> I think we should maybe we should just have a separate like, offshoot podcast about dueling. That'd be good. The Icelandic would always win with a, some rotten flipper. <laughs> anyway, we're here. I think actually, actually, Inuits. Because <laughs> what the fuck have they got? They've got nothing. They've got a frozen, a frozen, a frozen fish. <laughs> That's hard. You, if you slap some of the frozen fish and then stab you in an eye with a, uh, with an elk horn with a, with a carrot. <laughs> they don't have carrots. They have frozen fish and elk horns. That's it. Okay, all right. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What were we here for? <laughs> <laughs> so well, well, I have we no are idea. here. You're in, you're in charge of this one. I'm just here to for the right. We are here for procal harm, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what that means. Okay, I probably mean something. Okay, no, what, tell us what, about procal harm. Right, what are okay. we here for? We are here for a whiter shade of pale. Ah, oh, classic. Track. Should I? Uh, I've got some notes. Can I find okay. them? Okay, whiter shade of pale. Here we go. I'm trying to find them. Here we go. Uh, procal harm. Why share the pal? In the song. <laughs> Shall I talk about dueling while you get yourself ready? In the song by English rock band Proko Harm that was issued as a debut record on 12th of May, 67. The, s- year. <laughs> the, the single reached number one in the UK charts and number eight and stayed there for six weeks without much promotion. It reached number five on a US Billboard Hot 100. See, look, we get, we get the UK singles the US get Billboard Hot 100. Well, exactly. Of course it is. The USA. One of the anthems of the 67 Summer of Love. It's one of the most widely successful singles in history, having sold more than 10 million copies worldwide in the years wow. since. Our White Shell Power has become an enduring classic with more than, get this, ready, 1,000 known cover versions. Holy crap. It's a Bach-derived instrumental melody, soulful lyrics, uh, soulful vocals, and unusual lyrics. The White Shed of Pale uh, was composed by Gary Brooker and Matthew Fisher, while the lyrics, written by Keith Reed. Uh, originally, the writing Chris, cre- uh, credits only listed Brooker and Reed. Fisher won the co-writing for the music in an unanimous ruling from the War Lords. And Brooker just died, unfortunately. Oh really? Okay. All right. Yeah, if you if you look behind us, that was Mild Man and Brooker and the gang out in Japan and he was a family friend and then he moved down to south of France and uh oh, really? yeah, uh, just outside um uh the doing and he just he just recently did just recently did doing.
Don't go to hell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the point shot. Oh god, this video is a mess. Oh god. How am I see uh, uh, I think we need a nice calming track. Are you ready? I'll play it. Oh, the doing <laughs> The doing If you're still here, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, <laughs> the Brooker family. If you, <laughs> I'll play the track. Are you ready? Um, <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one, boom. <laughs> Oh, 
God. Oh, that was fantastic. I That's love a that. Classic. What's I got over my Googles? I love that. The um, <laughs> apparently it came into a room and there was a girl slumped. They'd been up all night. And she was slumped in the corner. And someone said, "What's wrong with her?" And someone said, "I don't know. She's a white shade of pale." So, and oh. that's where he got the lyric from. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, and I love the video, like, like the original video yeah. with just like, a, you know, the, the the pictures of London, you know, and, and and I just love all those things, like the the sort of you, there's so much sort of detail in those things. You see, you know, like Trafalgar Square or whatever, Piccadilly Circus, and you know, all those things. It's just fantastic. I, I love that about London as well, and it looked like it looked like post-war London. And then an innocent time when they were just kind of, shall we say, kind of modern musical hippies were coming through. And so you got the young and the old, you know. Yeah, right, a different exactly. time in the 70s, uh, 60s where you could, uh, you know, follow someone's butt as well with a camera. <laughs> we're singing about <laughs> Vestal Virgins, you know. Just, yeah. Oh, well, follow that butt, you know. Uh, and it's just like you could also imagine like the directors like going, uh, you know, when, OK, now run up run across the park towards the camera and they start running and then like one of them goes oh fuck yeah can, can you <laughs> just get a walk can you imagine bono doing that with the boys it's just like fuck that and also uh, another uh, an era where you could just basically wear any old shit and get away with it again carpets and household uh accoutrements. absolutely just like rugs curtains and your nan's the best uh sunday frill <laughs> I mean, fashion hadn't fully formed, but it didn't matter. I mean, I would have well, been embarrassed was... if I was him at uh, Pic- uh, to Trafalgar Square standing there, all picked in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The two old dears walk by behind him. Uh, like, what the bloody hell was that? Oh, you know, oh, my day. But great sounding Hammond. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. And it is such an iconic song. Let, you know, all joking aside, it is like you know, you write that one song. <laughs> And as you said, it's it's been covered a thousand times. Yeah. And uh, and and it, you know it's it's everywhere. Yeah, you yeah. know that that is like a masterpiece. It's like a Mona Lisa of a track if you can do that. You know. I love that. I love I love the video as well. It was absolutely yeah. fantastic. Well, <clears throat> I do apologise about <laughs> losing it earlier. We have a habit of doing this, but that was a bad one. But, Takes us by surprise. But we're very professional, <laughs> you know. And it's outfits like this that manage to pull themselves together and <clears throat> plow through. And get through, get through to the end, absolutely. Uh, at, with our with our dignity intact. Absolutely. If you like and subscribe, you might, as I say, you might um, <clears throat> see more of that kind of, you know, uh, professionalism. Um, but yeah. uh, happy to have you on the journey. Yeah, and, and you know, it, if you think of any particular nationalities dueling food items, please add them to the comments below. Uh, we're fascinated to know what your particular country, what you would duel with as in terms of a food item. I Absolutely. Think. And if you think you are a nation that could take on the Inuits, then uh, <laughs> that's who we are championing. <laughs> We're with the frozen, with the frozen fish and the caribou <laughs> stick. Okay, got it. Go. All right. <laughs> Thank God that's over. Oh my God. <laughs> See you on the flip side. See you on the flip side.